Kenenda. Kenenda. You not paint your nails, eh? You not paint your nails, eh? Kenenda. Hey, Kenenda. You not paint your nails, eh? That means you are the one. You are the one who have been stealing my money. No, no, no. Yes, so buy cotton. Look at this. Look at your leg. Look at look. You not see my money to go your leg. It was my friend that gave it to Who's me. Who's of your friend? Who's of your friend? Okay. I remember Ngozi told me that the other day he saw you one of one of these village champions. Oh. Eh? No, oh. it was not eh? me. It was you, who told? Eh? It was who? It was who? It was who? <laughs> Bible always preach peace, but I need revenge on my uncle and not peace. In the book of Matthew 7, 7, it says, Ah, it shall be given. Say, you shall receive. Now, it shall be open unto you. My name is Samara, goddess of wickedness and peace. I am here to give hope to the hopeless, peace to the disturbed, and comfort to the distressed. I am also here to give wickedness, pains, and death to the heartless ones who hate and harm their fellow humans. Vengeance belongs to me. Ah! Kenena, daughter of Akweke, do not be afraid. But how did you know my name? I was there before the creation of the universe. I am immortality. Death has no power over me. I know everything beneath the earth and above the earth. Okay, what do you want? I want what you want. 
How? You need revenge. How did you know? I know everything. I am Samara. Goddess of the sea. I want revenge. Mr. Okeke and his family are very wicked. They treat me very bad. Do you know that sometimes I will cook and I will not even eat the food? They beat me seven times a day. I want revenge. Do you want to know the truth? Yes, please tell me. Mr. Okeke and Atoshit killed your father and mother to take their property. And that is enough reason for you to take your revenge on them. So I'm here to give you what belongs to you. And who and who are these associates? They are the ones who claim to be righteous. They hide under good deeds and religion. But don't worry. We will kill them all. Oh, okay. Can you please tell me their names? I want to know their names. Who are they? Relax. First thing first. I will give you a gift. It is called the power of death. Power of death. I don't understand. With this gift, you can choose to kill whosoever you wish to destroy. Open your mouth and receive the breath of death.
is why you visit my house this afternoon. Hope all is well. Oh, Mr. KK, all is well. You know, it is the duty of the clergy to visit the flocks. That's why I've come to see you. And uh, I noticed that uh, since the death of your wife, you have not been showing up in the church. I want to know what's the matter. What is the matter? Everything is the matter, Kathy. Yes! Everything is the matter. The church was not fair to me. When my wife died, the church refused to come and bury her. Eh? Because they said she was owing CWO fees. Hmm? Oh. Then you expect me to attend that church again. Kathy, I am not coming again. Your religion, your church, I am not coming again. Um, uh, my brother, you won't take it that way. No, I, I tried on my best to convince the Reverend Father to wave the debt away for you. But he insisted that you must pay up. That was a waste of time. Yes, can God have buried my wife? My wife's burial was successful. Yes. So, your church, your religion, don't need, you don't have to go and start begging me again. I'm not coming again. If I have problem, <laughs> Alpha. Um, my brother, you have to come back to the church. The church needs you. They don't need me. They don't need me. When I needed them, they failed me. So I am not coming back. I'm not coming back. Um, do you know that uh, that Reverend Father has been transferred to another parish? So very soon now, uh, a new Reverend Father will come to take over from him. Uh, don't know. I uh, don't need to know. Hmm? I don't need to know. Don't be telling me all this. I am not interested. I've told you I'm not coming back. Even if you ask the Pope to come and take over the church, I will not come there. Or even if you ask me to go to Vatican to worship, for as long as that the same religion, I will not worship again. If I have problem, cactus, they are well on them. Um, lest I forget, I had a dream, a very terrible dream on your head. Even my son had similar dream on your head. Uh, uh, what was the dream all about? Uh, we dreamed when you were lying dead. God forbid. God forbid, not me. You want to use dead, dead dream, like me, lying dead. You want to use the dream to bring me back to the church. God, with that dream, I don't need it. I'm not coming. I won't worship you again. Hold your dream. I will not die. Ah, Mr. Okay, church cannot use a, a, a diverse way to deal with the flux. Yeah? This is the dream. I'm only trying to tell you the dream. I'm only trying to tell you the dream. Church cannot use a, a diverse way. Good day, sir. Uh -huh. uh, how are you? This one, why are you smiling like this? Nothing, sir. Okay, uh, go and get me some boring I can use it to wash my sister. Okay, sir. Uh, Mr. Keke, I will be on my way. But just think about this dream. Take it serious. Pray over it. Okay, cut it. want to use the dream to bring me back to the church eh? so that your reverend father will come and milk me of my yam and my life stocks. Look, Kathy, I will not step my legs into that church again. Go with your religion, Kathy. Go. If I have problems, then what happens?
Kerenna, where is your age? A dream, dream. Joseph the dreamer. Why are you smiling? Nothing, sir. I'm so happy I've gotten my revenge on Mr. Okeke. I'm here to give you peace and comfort. And that you will get. I'm your best friend and comforter. We will take our revenge on all of them. So who is next? The cat kissed. The cat kissed. Was he among the people that conspired to kill my parents and take over their wealth? Yes, he was. He was the first person who planned to kill your parents. We will have to kill him and take our revenge on the rest of them. And your father's wealth to be yours. Consider it done, Samara, the giver of life and death. I'm at your service.
Amaka. Amaka. Kenana, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Eh, I'm where are you going to? No, I'm coming from the parish house. My father sent me an errand there to the reverend father. But now I'm going home. Yeah. Eh, in that case, let me escort you now. Eh. Mm -hmm. And you know, since my uncle died, eh, I've always been very depressed. Eh? I've, I've always wanted someone to talk to. Sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. Thank you. From today, you can always talk to me. I'll be the friend you talk to. Eh. Yes. I'm a boy's So we're now friends. Yes, we're friends. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Eh? Let's go together. I'll introduce you to my father. You see? Job in the Bible. Everything about him was suffering, suffering, suffering. That's why when they talk of uh, suffering, they talk of Job. When they talk of Job, they talk of suffering. Eh? Yes. Papa, what eh? did Job do that make him to suffer? Huh? God knows how he does his own thing. The reason Job has to suffer is for us Christians to know that they are suffering. Yeah, we can also suffer. It's quite normal. But God will remember us so we suffer. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Kenena. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are uh, what of you your sister? I hope uh, one of you are doing well. Hmm. Papa, we've been really suffering. Things are very, very hard for us. Kenena. I understand. I understand what you people are going through. But let me assure you, uh, I'm going to send you people some food stuff because I know since the death of your uncle, hold on, I got the gift. Uh, things have been very difficult for you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Okay, I uh, Amaka, I'll be going now. Okay. Okay, let's see. See you later. Bye bye, sir. Okay, my uh, Oh, Papa. Yeah. I don't like that girl. Eh? Yeah. It's Papa. Why? Something in me tells me that she's from the Equus with the evil one. Yeah. Ebuka! Ebuka! Mind your tongue! Ebuka! Something tells you from where? Who is that something? What is that something? It's a very bad man's mindset. You don't have to say so. Papa, I'm just saying what I know. Devil does not create. Only God creates. So everybody is a child of God. You don't have to say that thing. Eh? Move it through your mind. It's bad. Eh? Go and get me water to drink. Okay, Papa. Papa, I'm just saying. Papa. Hmm. Papa, let's not even stop. Hey, carry that your prophecy, carry that your uh, 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 intuition, carry that uh, everything that brought that uh, dangerous head speech. Carry it and go inside. Papa, we're I just saying what I know. You know what? What did you know?
Amaka. Amaka no get you. Yes, Papa. Bien, 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 bien. Amaka. Abaka, take this money to the market, buy some food stuff. Okay, yeah? I'll be fast about it. Okay. Where is your brother? He went to the farm. To the farm? Yes. Go there and call him. Okay. Call him for it. Okay. And don't play on the road. Okay. Eh? Okay. Be fast about it. Okay. Amaka. Amaka, how are you? I'm fine, you call. I'm fine, no, oh, I'm fine. Eh, hey, where are you going to? I'm going to the market. Yeah, I'm also going to the market. Eh, yeah. hey, so we'll just go together. Okay. Um, how is your father? He's fine. And your brother? He's fine. You are all fine. <laughs> To the parish house for for meeting. Amaka, good evening. I'm hungry. Chop, chop. No, I know you like food. I'm about to prepare rice and beans. Dofa. Mm. Amaka, that reminds me. I dreamt last night. I forgot dream. to dream. I forgot to tell Papa. You can you dream? Tell us about it. Last night I saw both of you lying dead, and I was crying. Dead. Yeah. Hey, you feel no, no, like that one, no. A memo, a memo. If there's something that kind of thing, no one is going to die. Be go. I was just saying what I saw in my dream. Oh, please stop dreaming, eh? Stop dreaming. Let me focus on my food. All right. Don't dream another one, no. Okay, please be fast about it. Stop. Let's prepare it. Ah. 
Ebuka. Prayer water. Because let's eat job. Ebuka. Please don't want to let's eat. I know I'm a cackle this food. Yes, Papa. Because she cooks like her mother. Papa, my dear, it's very sweet. Do you love the outfit? Yes, I love it. You look so good in them. Thank you. I will give you anything you want. I will give you more powers as long as you remain mine and loyal to me. But why are you doing these things for me? I still don't understand. You wanted revenge and I came to your aid. I needed a friend and companion. And here you are. And I will always be your friend. So, how do I get back to my father's world? 
Um, your uncle's associates are still remaining. Uh, who again has the hand in the death of my father? Elizabeth, the village preacher. What? Yes. She's one of your uncle's concubines. They all plotted to take your father's wealth. How come? Okay. Right now, she's in your uncle's house, taking good care of his children. Go. You'll see her there. But when you set your eyes on her, do not strike until I give you the go ahead. To I brought clothes, some food stuff and food for you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Make sure you always pray and go to church every Sunday. Thank you so much, Ma. You've not eaten anything for the past few days. Yes, Ma. Thank you so much, Auntie Elizabeth. And we promise to always pray and go to church. I knew you both would be very hungry. That's why I decided to bring me to our health. Thank you. What about Kenina? She went out since morning and she has been behaving strange since the death of her father. Yes. Don't worry. The wicked ones shall be put to shame soonest. Stand up, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. eternal rock of ages, we want to thank you, we want to appreciate you for the life. How do you go to get this food? Because I'm very sure there was no food or fruits in this house before I left. Uh, Aunt Elizabeth came and brought some food stuff and food for us. Which Elizabeth? Do you have any other Elizabeth in this village? Sister Elizabeth the preacher. Right now, she's in your uncle's house, taking good care of his children. Go. You'll see her there. Elena, what is it? Nothing. Have some. No, 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 I'm fine. It's time. Elizabeth needs to die. Go and strike now. Right away. Kenena, who are you talking to? Nobody.
are you doing here? Meet my father in hell. Push your father in hell. so well, my beautiful Kenan now. So what do you want as a gift from your Samara? Fruits. Just fruits. Okay. Here you go. Thank you so much. Mm. Why did you ask me not to strike at this bread? You know, some things are better not to be said. You know when the time comes. Okay. Um, now that we've eliminated all of them, when can I get my father's wealth? So that I can at least go to the city and have a better life. I know they are all gone. But there is one more tax you need to carry out. Mention the name and after life we will see the soul. His name is Father Abel. He will be coming to this village tomorrow. He's a new priest sent to take over from the former priest. I want you to eliminate him. Why? But he was not among the people that, that killed my father. Are you questioning Samara, the princess of the universe? No, but... Kill him. Kill him and your father's wealth and more powers will be yours. Consider it done. My Kenema. Enjoy your apple. Sister Mary. <laughs> Oh, are you guys going to say? Mm -hmm. well, let's go. It's getting dark. Ah, but I'm here. 
You come down. May the peace of the Lord be with you. You know the Father. From today henceforth, you are free in Jesus' name. Mm. You are free in Jesus' name. Mm. Now go home and sin no more. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Do for me, okay? Spirit from the marine kingdom. What have you come here to do? You have no power over her. You have no right over her. I command you now with the power of the Holy Ghost to release her in the mighty name of Jesus. Release her in the mighty name of Jesus. Be uprooted in Jesus' name. Out now. Out of her body in Jesus' name. Out of her body in Jesus' name. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. 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 Take it out. Take it out. Take it out in the name of Jesus. Take it out in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Be come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are, come out now in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name I've prayed. Amen. She lied to you. Yes. Nobody killed your father. How? You killed your own father. What? Mr. Okeke is your real father. Oh. oh, Father, how? The Holy Spirit revealed it to me. Let me tell you a story. Many years ago, your so-called Samara was the goddess of this land. She was worshipped by the whole village. The whole villagers bowed down to her until your mother brought the first Catholic priest into this village.
resurrection spirit from the pit of hell. Light and darkness have nothing in common. Now I command you. I command you in the name of the Almighty Lord, who made heaven and earth. Come out and depart. Amen. 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 Akweke, you brought the white man's religion to destroy your forefather's religion. Your forefathers has worshipped me for 400 years. And now, you want to end my reign. I shall destroy all your entire generation to the end of time. You lie. You foul spirit from the pit of hell. You lie. With the powers bestowed on me, as a priest of the Holy Roman Catholic Church, I call down the power of God from heaven. Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Your mother and father Emmanuel destroyed her shrine. So she had no choice than to take refuge in the waters. She was so pissed, she was so angry that she vowed to destroy your mother and her generation. After some months, she came back to fulfill her vow to destroy your mother. But she discovered that your mother had become holy, that she was prayerful. So you know what she did? She possessed Mr. Okeke to rape your mother. After nine months, when your mother was praying at the village altar, your mother went into labor and she gave birth to you. Yeah. But she died after childbirth. 
she dedicated you to God before she died. Then Father Emmanuel took care of you for a while. And after some time, he got confused about what to do. Then he dropped you near the river, where Mr. Okeke saw you and picked you up, took you home, without knowing that you are his daughter. Samara, knowing too well that you are a destined child, a special child from God, knowing that she cannot harm you, that she cannot hurt you, decided to deceive you. Yes, she lied to you, and she started using you to kill innocent and righteous people of God. She is evil, Kenenna. She is the devil. So I killed my own father. <laughs> Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying, okay? It's alright. Don't worry, Kenanya. Don't worry about it. Do you know why she asked you not to kill Elizabeth? Why she asked you to wait before she gives you the order to kill her? No. That is because Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She was spirit. She was holy. So Samara decided to, to possess someone who fell in love with her and had sex with her. was why she asked you to go and kill her when she was coming out of the bush because she was no longer holy because she just had sex the holy spirit departed from her immediately she had sex in the bush that was why it was so easy for you to get to her what have i done <laughs> father please what do i do
Don't worry, Kanenda. Do not be afraid. You are a special child. Samara cannot harm you. She cannot touch you. She can only cause you pain and, and suffering, but she can never, never take your life. So do not be afraid. Okay? You don't let me pray for you. Behold your daughter, Kenenna. She has come to you for help. Because in your book of Psalms 121, you said, From whence cometh our help? Our help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We have come to you, have a father for help. Now that you've known the truth, how do you feel killing your own father? I will never allow you and your generation to have peace. I will kill you all. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Bible says in Psalm 46 that the Lord is our strength and our protection. Therefore, we shall not be afraid of anything. She cannot harm you. She cannot kill you. No mortal or immortal can touch you. Okay? Just calm down and relax. We're a destined child. Do you know that? No! 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 Kenina, I will destroy you. Yes! I was on my own and your mother made me homeless. She destroyed my shrine. And because of that, you and your family must pay. You lie. I say you lie. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12 that the Lord is our comforter. Therefore, we shall not be afraid of mere mortal. Your immortality is useless in the eyes of the Lord. You are a mere mortal. Stay out of this. You are a mere mortal. Kenana, come here. You have Kenana, no power. come here. You have no power. You have no come right. Here. You have no authority. So I send fire from heaven to consume you. Holy Ghost, fire! 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 Fire! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, mighty morning. Thank you. Thank you. And Father, will she return? Yes. 